what's up welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is crystal this is travel with crystal where i will be sharing travel vlog story time lifestyle videos with you guys now with that said i'll be updating my video postings to every sunday yes that's right every sunday you'll be getting a new video which you don't want to miss so make sure to hit the subscription button i'll give you a few seconds to do that now that you have done that let's get into it Sagittarius are such a flirt and here's why like we will just unknowingly get ourselves into a relationship without even being interested in the first place now let's get right into this story time it was one sunday night in jamaica when my best friend and i were coming from a party called sans now if you guys don't know sans the infamous party that keeps in jamaica and florida y'all need to go check that out okay i'm not that big on parties but come on i know what sans is nevertheless it was a sunday when we were coming home from sans so being the only responsible one like my best friend will not agree with this but she knows being the only responsible one that doesn't drink alcohol i drove so now it was time to drop everyone home after the party my best friend lives in uptown jamaica so on my way you know taking her home i decided to pull over to a gas station for some reason like i don't know but it's just a thing like when you're going home from a party you're going to stop at a gas station get some hot chocolate get some food some little finger food hot dog fries whatever it be stop at a little corner roadside shop and get snacks like it's a thing i don't know why but it's a thing okay <laughs> so we pulled into the gas station so i'm a little troublemaker you guys know this right and when i say troublemaker i'm talking about good kind of trouble so i pulled into the gas station but it was one of those big gas stations where it had different sections and i decided to park close to a laundromat right there that i can remember and then walk into the little deli of the gas station after i parked and we came out to go into the deli of the gas station i noticed this man putting air in his car tire so being the little troublemaker i am i said excuse me sir can i help you pump air in your tires and he's like sure come on no I didn't know nothing about pumping air in tire, okay? I was just being a little troublemaker. So he said, sure, come on. So of course, coming from the beach party, looking all sexy, I had on one of those black leggings with the whole side mesh where you can see skin, you know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. With a little top, because of course, girl shape nice and sexy. So I'm walking over there because now I have a pump air in this man tire, even though I don't know what I was doing or what i'm about to do i don't know anything about cars guys so i didn't even know how even though i was driving i didn't know how to pump air in my tire at that time if i had a flat on the road i would just call my dad jackfruit and say jackfruit this is where i have a flat can you send help and help would reach right that's a bad way to live that's a bad way like as a female, you need to know how to change your tire. You need to know how to pump air in the tire and stuff like that. Anyways, so he said, yes, I should come help him. So I walked my little way over there and I said, good night. And he's like, good night. My name is Marijuana. So I'm like, okay, okay. They call me Cookie because that's what everyone called me at the time. So he's like, Cookie. So yeah, what kind of cookie? Like a chocolate chip cookie. And you know, Jamaican man are going to come with the whole sweet talk, right? So after I'm done sweet talking, where I asked what kind of cookie I was, he's like, here's the pump or here's the hose. You said you were going to pump my tire. No, I couldn't believe this man really took me serious. Like, sir. Anyway, so I took the pump. So while I took the pump, I was distracting him with more conversations. So I said to him, so you're just randomly at gas station asking females to put air in your tire. And he's like, well, I was doing it myself when you offered. And by the way, where are you coming from? So I said, I went to a beach party. So he's like, oh, that explains the sun. So I'm like, sir, so you're just looking at me from head to toe. So marijuana said, yes. So I said, okay. So I said to him, 
to tell you the truth i don't know anything about pumping air in tire and i like i've never done this before i have a father who does everything for me and i have a brother who if i get a flat i just call one of the two so i really never took the time out to learn so he's like okay well that's for another day i can teach you how to do that and i'm like okay sure i'll take up the offer so then i told him bye and as i was leaving he's like so how am i going to show you how to pump air in the tire if i don't have your number so i said marijuana you know you're kind of slick right now you're not getting my number so he's like okay i noticed you have a blackberry so can i get your pin so i said okay fine because you can always like delete somebody pin after so i'm like all right fine let me give you my pin and i gave him my pin so after we exchanged our BBM pins, I went to meet my friends in the deli. And while I was in the deli, my best friend was saying to me, girl, you don't know who that is? And I'm like, no. Remember, I don't go out, I'm not in the streets. So she's like, girl, I'm running the wall uptown. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, bad man kind of vibe? Because trust me, I've done crazy, but I'm not trying to do bad, okay? So... She was like, no, 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 like in a, a rich kind of vibe, like, you know them people there, like, yeah. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then she was there giving me the whole rundown because, of course, she's from Uptown too, so the street stock, you know? Y'all know what I mean when I say the street stock. So she was there telling me, which I never care about. I am from a privileged family, so it wasn't important to me, like, what a person had or whatever, because if you're not standing it over to me, then... I don't care sweetie so I dropped them off and I was on my way home now when I got a pin so he was like are you home yet so I said no I have a long way to go so he was like where you live so I told him the area cuz I'm not trying to give nobody my address so they just pull up on me like that so I told him the area so he was like okay cool nice meeting you and you're a nice chocolate looking girl I'm gonna call you chocolate chip cookie and I'm like, okay, marijuana, okay. So I listened to him and I got home and, you know, we had casual conversations after that. So he messaged me further down in the week and he was like, can you accompany me somewhere? So I'm like, I don't go out with strangers, so I have to think about it. So he's like, well, we can't become friends if you don't give me a try. And I'm like, okay, fair enough, fair enough. So I said, where do you want to go? So he said his friend is having a birthday party. So I said, where? He said, in the country. So I said, you sure you don't just want to kidnap me? And then he's like, no, I don't want to kidnap you. As a matter of fact, if you don't feel safe, I can personally come to your house and ask star fruit and jackfruit. I thought it was really sweet that he wanted to meet my parents, but then I'm so skeptic, like, I take those things personal. You're not just gonna just come and meet my parents just like that, right? Like, no, don't try to wiggle your way in through my parents. So I'm like, I'm a big girl. That's what I said to him. I said, I'm a big girl. Don't worry. It's it's okay. You can come get me and we'll go to your friend's birthday party. So of course, the whole time, me being paranoid, I had already taken his license plate number so I and plus my best friend knew him right so I'm like girl I'm going out with marijuana if I go missing this is his license plate and we exchange the whole works because we do that even to this day like no technology upgrade so we can share location indefinitely so I know where they are all the time and they know where I am but back then that's how we would do it just like send a person license plate and their full name and whatever whatever maybe their driver's license just in case because the streets ain't safe he came and he picked me up and we were going to the birthday party in the country now being a city girl i am not familiar with the country but i get to understand that it was a farm called nightingale if i'm mistaken let me know in the comments it's called nightingale farm and it's somewhere out on old harbor road in jamaica so that's where we were going no sitting down in the front of the car paying attention to where i'm going just in case me have no runway you know because remember i don't know this person i've only seen him once now i realized we following the gps and we turn on this road it was like a riverbed like it the road was just rocky so now i'm thinking this man really about to kidnap me because we're on a dead end road there's no street lights <laughs> 
it's just crazy like this is it lord if this is my time please save my soul and let it enter into heaven this is what i'm saying in my mind right anyways she's like um we just turned on the wrong road but i'm trying to see if i find someone to get the correct direction because as you can see i'm following the gps gps in jamaica will get you killed trust me guys gps will get you killed okay because i don't know if they don't update the gps system there or the road system but there are some roads that were closed off that still is accessible on the gps if you know what i'm saying right drive with someone that you know drive with not even someone that you know drive with someone who knows the roads okay yeah uh, uh gps will get you killed no we're driving same way on the little rocky road when we saw somebody so he's like good night sir mind you he had a lot of manners okay he was a real gentleman so he's like good night sir you know i'm trying to find nightingale farm but the gps sent me on this road can you tell me how to get back out of here and get on the right road so the man was like yeah man you know just turn around go down the road make the left make a u-turn and right at the sign into the zigzag and jamaican direction the worst okay but we went back on the main road then we called well he called the person that it's their birthday party which is his friend and he was like you know i'm lost so guide me from here this is where i'm at and we found the place i was like Phew. for a second i thought what am i doing but nevertheless i still wasn't panicking on the outside and even though i said he's a nice guy and a gentleman like are the nice ones then bad like may i tell you no let me know in the comments it's the nice ones that are crazy right mm -hmm. so we got to the party now and he was like hi everyone this is my soon-to-be wife cookie and i'm like all right okay i don't know why this man if him see wife for me but okay i was enjoying it and then they're like oh so is you marijuana been talking about and i'm like talking about so it's been like almost two weeks and this man already had talked to his friends about me okay love at first pump i guess <laughs> <laughs> but anyways guys after that we sat down around one of those little white party tables and we were drinking manish water soup because back then i did eat meat no i don't so i was drinking manish water soup and you know he was drinking liquor and he was like you want something to drink so i said i don't drink which i really don't i don't drink alcohol so he's like, okay, you want juice? And I'm like, sure, you know. And I was giving him options, but they only had cranberry, which was fine. Because, you know, cranberries go for your kidneys. So I took the cranberries and we sat there, we drank, we talked. And, you know, get a little bit more familiarized with each other. And it was good. So at the end of the night, no, he was like, okay, now I got to take you home. Because... I'm the type of person where if I invite somebody out, I thought this part was was amazing and every man should look at this. I hope every man looks at life like this. He's like, you're in my company, my presence, so I'm responsible for you from the time I took you from your house to the time you get back. So I'm taking it back to your house. So I got home safely and I told him, let me know when you got home also, which he did. And that was it. That was the end of the night. We both got home safely and moral of the story is you can find love anywhere, even on the pump. And that's it guys, that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please let me know what you'd like to see coming up in the future. I will be doing get ready with me videos, lifestyles, more story time and travel vlog of course. But I'm open to suggestions. Also, I need to know guys, would you like me to upload them on a Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, or later in the night? Let me know what works for you. And I'll see you in another video. Oh, don't forget to hit the subscription button and turn on your notification so you never miss the next story. See you next Sunday.
Bye. Can we take the time out to appreciate how I slayed my hair myself? Okay. I did that with the help of my best friend. Like, she is such a patient little doll. After two failed wig caps and a whole heap of other drama, I was able to get my hair to this level. Like, I'm totally not finished with it as yet, but y'all see, right? And she'll be having one-on-one -on -one classes, which I'll be taking as well. So you guys need to look out for that in my videos coming up because I will make mention of it. I will record the journey so y'all can see that I can stay slayed in these videos for you guys.